Hello everyone, this is Kirandeep Kaur and this is my first video on Interview JS. I have given plenty much of interviews uh, during my switches in my five year of front end career. So I thought I should just share my knowledge of whatever I gained through those experiences, what kind of questions, what kind of, uh, not questions, but the pattern of questions that are asked in front end interviews. So if you guys are preparing for the front end interviews, then I guess you should just give it a shot just give it a try to actually implement these kind of patterns and preparing for these kind of patterns and questions before going to your front-end interview uh, so here in this video the very first pattern and the very first exact question that i'm going to discuss is the flattening of an array so um this is going to be uh, the sample array that we have which is a deep nested array so let's say this and inside this you have an another array and we need to flatten this array which means that um, this is sorry this is going to be your ultimate result and this is going to be um, you can say this is what you're going to return from your function this is we want what we want to achieve which is the flattening an array flattening a deep nested array so how are we going to do this so not only i'm just going to tell you the solutions of the problem but how to tackle the problem itself how to solve the problem step by step right so the very first thing that we are going to do here is to create a function that will flatten this array right so this is going to be a syntax of es6 es6 syntax and uh, what is the first thing that we need here we need an input that is going to be our array this is going to be our array right so let's just save it in a variable before we pass it down uh, into our function so i'm just calling my function here uh, and this is the array that i'm passing here so this is the array so the very first thing that i need is this array that means i need to return some array from this array right from this function sorry so either you can manipulate this function and uh, this array that we are passing as an input and return the same array or you can just save it in some other array and return that array instead so let's say i just save my result in some other array and i will just return that array from this function right so uh, what i'm going to use here there are plenty of ways to do this but a very clean way and a very efficient way to do is uh, using the reduce function that we have in our es6 so uh, i'm going to use this reduce function and this reduce function takes function as a parameter and that function actually take two parameters the first one is accumulator so accumulator is the initial stage is where you want to accumulate your data so let's say I have this um, array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and I want to reduce it means let's say for example I want to save the sum of this array the items of this array right so uh, the accumulator in that case will be here the sum right and the initial stage of that sum is going to be zero because currently we do not have anything in here so that we what we mean by accumulator and the second one is the item that we have so whatever the initial stage of the accumulator is we are going to pass that here so here our accumulator is going to be an empty array so we are just going to pass an empty array so let's say for an example of the sum of the uh, array integers uh, we are going we will be passing zero here but for this case we'll be passing array here so this is uh, how you have to solve it step by step and be loud like whatever you are thinking whatever you are writing just let the interviewer know that what what exactly are you thinking what exactly are you coding so if we take this as an our example this one is the item the another one two three is an array but that's an item of our main array right so there can be two type of inputs or items that can be here if the item is an array or the item will be a number right so uh, that's our else part because if it is a number we do not have to do anything we just have to push it into our accumulator which is our empty array as of now so accumulator dot push and we are going to push our item in here 
but if it is an array what we need to do we have to do something so first of all how are we going to know that this item is an array so we have a very famous function for this array dot is array so array dot is array so if our item is an array then we have to call the recursion on this uh, on this item right the same function that we have here flatten we have to call that function on this item as well so flatten the item that we have which is an array in this case and we have to concat it with our existing result which is our accumulator right and just return our accumulator that is our array from here and we are already returning some new array but we need to save our exact result in here right so let's just see how it goes okay so we just got a one and that's it okay that's because um the array you concated the accumulator with this flattened array flattened item as per se but we have not saved it again in our accumulator so we have to get the result and save it back to the accumulator so that we get the entire result back now if we run it we get this flattened array one two three four five six seven eight and nine so this is how you can actually solve the, uh, it in a very clean way, in a very precise way. And uh, one thing that I definitely would like to discuss and point here is that a follow up thing. So for me, the follow up uh, for this question was very simple. The interviewer actually asked me that I do not want to use the push method uh, here for the array. I just want to use the spread operator that we have in ES6. So can you do it that way? So it is pretty much simple. So that's the accumulator and whatever you have in your accumulator, you will get that in the array and you will get this additional item also in the array and you will save it in back in the accumulator. And then if you run it, you will get the same result. So that's it for this question. This is a very uh, repetitively asked question. I have seen that many interviewers have actually asked this question. So. Prepare this one before you go to your front end interview and do like and subscribe if you like this video and if you want to watch these kind of questions and patterns in future because I'll be uploading new uh, videos very soon and also if you would like me to cover specific topics then please do let me know in the comment section. Thank you and I'll see you soon.